Well, this video consists of a lots of vulnerability since I have been sharing my journey. Why not share this video to the next generation who will go through this situation as well because we all are human being and we are not machine. And let's normalize these things and let's be hopeful no matter what so it, it's been a long time I'm, I'm facing this like i don't understand to whom i should talk and uh, to whom i shouldn't because i feel the urge to save my energies but when in terms of energies i have so much law to deal with sometimes i get creative blocks sometimes i just feel i should study in this way so that i can score good and I could pass the test and then I feel like I should also grow my YouTube channel I should grow my reels because it's the time where I should uh, start making some money because uh, you don't know if you are like it's good to start making money by your skills because you have that skills you know that and like you will since it's a creative field you have to constantly keep trying and trying until uh, you get your right uh, place like you know that this is the right time the more you do the more hone the skills right so neither do I have a camera neither do I have a lighting setup I have nothing but I know I can act I can write scripts I can uh, make videos I can edit those are my skills but uh, and uh, currently I'm going through a state of blockage I guess and I'm I am totally tired sometimes what happens is like when I it's just a day when you woke up but you were still tired you're tired of everything but you still keep doing things like a habit and you do things but you're not into it and then you feel overwhelmed and you don't know the reason why you're crying but you feel overwhelmed and then go to like sleep you sleep three hours in the afternoon and then woke up and then you feel better but then again like you feel like oh god what will i do now and uh, i think uh today's that day i'm feeling this from yesterday actually and um, i guess i should record this because uh, the one thing that helps me in this process is audio stories i hear a lot of audio stories so that is the whole thing and uh, yeah it's just like you wake up the next morning and you feel like everything is fine but I don't know what the state is. Usually I I don't sleep, I take nap or I just listen to audio stories or I just I just lay down on my bed in the like this kind of period like afternoon period but today what I did was I was having a feeling of uh, just doing some workouts like breathing exercise mostly what i did was i did i changed my attire and uh, i was in my workout clothes and then i had some breathing exercise after a very long time i mean i do it like i do meditate but it's for a very less amount of time you know you, i feel like it really needs a lot of time like even to meditate for five minutes is very difficult what it does is it releases a lot of energies from your body that you're holding back i felt a tear like i cried uh, maybe because of the energy that i am holding back the various emotions we hold back we can't tell anybody uh, or the past wounds that we need to heal so this is a very important thing so i did it today and i really really feel better and i also journaled because i wanted to like like write down what i felt and whatever i did i i, I felt great because from the past few days like two three days was tremendously horrible for me because i I don't know there are kind of breakdowns and I really want to find out like why this thing happens like I don't know if I don't know I've, I've never shared this but I, I have this kind of thing like sometimes the graph is like this and then it goes so down and I know I accept that this is life and we cannot expect everything to be high and there is no low points but I want to enjoy the low points as well you know if you're enjoying the high points you must know how to honor that low point so that you don't get depressed or sad just by like uh, having a low point in time you must be self-sufficient to also handle those periods of time 
and uh, that is very important for me i have always liked this areas of my life and i will love to develop myself as a human being as a spiritual being so yeah that was all about today's evening so i'm very tired because i just came from the practical classes and uh, this whole day was a hopeless day because in the morning i went to buy all those things as i have shown you guys and then after doing so much of work my work was rejected he was but the whole point of the thing is i feel that the day was wasted because nothing went accordingly just nothing not even a single thing and this is not the first time happening this to me uh this is the first time i'm saying this on camera this has happened a lot of time in first year as well in second year as well and today is a repetition of this day again i mean as things as we say that the graph of life is not always linear it is like this so ups and downs are always there but you know at times like this i really feel so 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 bad no matter how much i am motivated all the time or no matter how much i feel happy or joy at certain time you feel bad you really feel bad and it hurts it hurts a lot and i don't deny that fact and so i'm saying this to you guys that happiness is not constant like things just change so rapidly yesterday night i was so happy i was doing all my stuff and today after i woke up and then when the classes started things changed and so are my feelings and this is why i say like nothing is constant that doesn't mean that everything ends uh but it sucks life sucks sometimes but i don't know what to say more was i just laid down on my bed and i was like thinking what is going to happen okay like this thing happens to me if something in uh, new comes in my way i always have that vision that what am i going to do like i have to recall like i have to have an image like okay i wake up in the morning with time i have changed myself a lot changed myself in a better way i think i will say i will i have evolved a lot but at the same time this uh cycle it repeats sometimes and i feel like what should i do about that mostly uh i cannot do anything because at that time nothing is in my control the only thing that is in my control is me myself so what i do is since i always have the tendency to scroll mobile i keep a book uh, i am i become quite anxious and i have been practicing so much so so much about these things that how to enjoy the journey the process more than destination more than the result because you know it it is sure that there will be a result there will be a destination no matter whether it's good or bad but at least wherever we are whatever the situation is i think it is so important to be happy in the journey to feel satisfied to feel blessed to feel good about whatever wherever you are it is so important and this is so simple to say you know i feel so good when i see these things when i when i realize that i know about this thing i am i'm aware but while taking action it is so difficult to put your mind into that that process of okay okay let's slow down let's let's not be too rough on ourselves i think i am in a better place right now i think i'm doing well i'm doing enough for today and you know just like drinking water sleeping taking bath and eating meals i think i think sometimes these things are also very difficult you know there is so much going on in the mind things are flowing it is better for me i can do better but when things are stuck like it, it's like i'm also stuck 
so as i have seen that i am following certain patterns and this is kind of a cycle though i feel right now much more better than i was in the place because i was not aware of what the situation was so the first tip i will give you guys ki if you are going to the same situation document yourself i did not put this video up before because i did not know i was not aware of what i was going through so i will never do something i myself is not aware but of but recently since i have again had that cycle back and then i found out i figured out ki these are the patterns and then i started figuring out my previous videos and i got some points listed on my journal and i see that there is a pattern you know and this is the best thing you can do like there will be thousands of people who are specialized in thousands of things and uh, you might not be aware of yourself but you know self awareness is only the key because you will not be able to go to thousands of people to ask for advice it is you where you can rely on so let's be that person for ourselves so that we can just counsel ourselves much more than others so that we can figure things out throughout the life and yeah i have been recording my journey and you can too do it you can just skip it to yourself and look back when you feel the same these things will really really help you out to figure what you are going through now i will be sharing about the things that i did wrong throughout whenever i felt this way number 1 is i kept on sulking about the situation number 2 is i stopped communicating my needs with the people around me Number 3 is I kept on justifying the situation even though I knew that this situation is making me more miserable and with that comes number 4 that by doing so I kept on blocking my thought process number 5 is I kept on threatening myself about the decisions I was making number 6 is I kept on questioning about every single small task and that was draining my energy number 7 is I seeked validation for my work Number 8 is I felt hopeless because I thought my work didn't matter. I myself didn't matter. Number 9 is I felt that somewhere I am not needed anymore and the ideas the work I am going to put are not that much great and there are more people who are better than me who is doing good. So why me? And number 10 finally all of this makes me more afraid of the situations, the day and it just makes the situation much more worse do let me know in the comment section below that if you have also been through this situation and if you can relate living a good and a happy life and a hopeful life is much more important than being successful in someone else's eyes